My name is Brian Dobbin. I'm a mechanical engineer with DMT Technical and UltimateSyntheticOil.com. I wanted to do a video for you today to explain something called oil analysis sampling. Now, we talk about this on and off quite a bit, and we just mention how easy it is, but you know, that doesn't really do you any good. And so that's the purpose of, of this today, is to show you just how simple oil analysis sampling is. Now, why is oil analysis sampling important? Well, there's some key things. This, this is my O2 2002 GMC Sierra 2500 heavy duty dirt with the Duramax 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel. And uh, I've got about 120,000 miles on it now. 77,000 miles ago, I first put AMS oil in and I installed a bypass oil filter system. Now that's pretty significant to a lot of people. The secret behind that is the bypass filter kit and using oil sampling analysis. Here you see the AMSOIL G1206. That's the oil analysis pump kit. And it comes with a setup like this and extra tubing. You can actually use any quarter inch uh, polyethylene tubing for most vehicles. Some of the small engines have very uh, small dip tubes and require the hose that's included with the kit. This particular engine, I'm running the 5W30 heavy duty diesel motor oil. Check our uh, on ultimatesyntheticoil.com on our diesel page uh, and go to your particular truck or vehicle to understand more about why we chose 5W30 synthetic diesel oil. Then this is running for a full flow filter, the EAO26 which is a much larger filter than the standard Duramax filter. We can do that because it's part of a two filter setup on the bypass filter kit. But back to the main part of what we're doing here. We're going to use this oil sample analysis uh, pump kit combined with our oil sampling uh, container. What I've done is I've gone ahead and taken my dipstick and I've marked out a piece of tubing here uh, with a piece of just plain electrical tape wrapped around it to indicate uh, the, how long the dipstick needs to be. The tubing would be down at the bottom of your dipstick. And then you take your container that comes in your oil sampling analysis kit. This is the standard container size. It screws on to the pump. Then you simply slide this down inside your dipstick tube, slide it down in so that the electrical tape is there at the mark point. The other key trick on your oil sample pump is to make sure that this plug is in in the end. If it's not, you'll pump a lot of air in and out of there and you won't be sure, you won't understand why it's not working. There's our oil going in. And we've just taken our oil sample. Pretty simple. Now we just unscrew this, we put our lid on, and we're done. Not very difficult at all. What does that allow us to do? Well, my next project after I get done is to spin this oil filter off and spin a new one on. I do that every 25,000 miles. How can I do that? This is nanofiber filtration technology. According to SAE research done by GM back in the, in the 1980s, this actually produces a 70% wear rate reduction over conventional filter technologies. 70%. Now I said 70% wear rate reduction. And the bypass filter that's paired with this one carries that much further. You're looking at well over 90% reduction in wear rates. 
Visit our website for more information. I hope this was helpful to you. I'm Brian Dobbin, mechanical engineer with DMT Technical at UltimateSyntheticOil.com.